Hello, my fellow idiots, and welcome to episode 3 of Star Lord. And this is when we're actually going to first start touching some code. Um, I have made a test server, as you can see, and we're going to be inviting the bot. I've got the documentation up. Uh, but first things first, we need to get the application. Uh, once we have the application, then we can invite it. There's Star Lord. Um, copy the client ID. Um, Discord bot permissions calculator. We're not going to give it any uh, permissions. We're just going to straight up, straight up invite it into our one and only guild. So the Star Lord bot is now there. Perfect. So what we want to do next is minimize, go to our tutorial folder, right click and click open with code. And just minimize that folder. Once you've done that, um, you want to bring up your terminal and start installing stuff. We're going to be doing two things. Um, we are going to use Nmap because I had a thought about it, and if we use Nmap to start with, then I can show you a video on how to migrate from Nmap to another database provider. So, we're in, open up terminal, which is control apostrophe, if you're using VS Code, and just wait for it to load up. Um, but yeah, we're going to be mainly focusing on um, the start of the main file. It's not going to be a super long video because of attention, ret retention, attention, retention. Uh, people attention spans and that. So we're going to do npm install. Now, I did say we're going to be doing the master version. So I need. Well, for one, I need to refresh myself. Is discord.js. Okay. npm discord.js slash discord.js. I just want to double check. That is wrong. Okay. Right, I just want to check um, this. Discord.js, no dot, discord dot JS. Okay. So we want to do npm install discord js dash a uh, slash discord dot js and nmap. Just let that fully install and when it does we will be right back guys. Right, the bot is now installed. Well, the bot is installed. Um, so what we need to do now is for starters we want to throw the token in here and you're gonna see the token as soon as I figure out where it is you're gonna see the token after this video is finished recording this token will be invalidated so you guys will never see the token again as far as I'm aware so yeah so now I do apologize, I am reading some code I prepared, um, let's see, the 9th, the 8th of September, so yeah, that's how long I've had this series planned, so um, as far as I'm like, the code still works, but I'm going to go through it line by line as best as I can, because I'm an idiot. So we're going to do index.js 
And first, we want to declare, uh, yeah, define a couple of things. So, const client collection. Now, put, forgive me if this is all wrong. I'm, as I, I haven't touched any code, and I've been trying to get up to speed. Uh, require discard.js uh, const is it upper uh, I don't know. can't read what file oh yes that file I forgot yeah do that fix that okay token uh, equals require do do config dot json save you always want to save you want to save quite often okay, why are you that's a thing um GitHub. An idiot's guide. We're just going to use the ESLN rules from Guidebot. Um, just to get us up and running. No wrong file. This file. Paste. There we go. Okay, now we're cooking. Not used, not used, not used. Um, yeah. So, class star world uh, extends client. Um, so now we just need the constructor, which has the super. Now, I'm not a hundred percent sure. What the constructor and super stuff does, but uh, people have explained this to me. But I know how to use them. I just don't know how it does its funky magic. So do, 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 we're going to disable everyone. Uh, true. We're going to message cash. Max size, yep, max size 100. No, not 99, 100. So it's basic size, life limit, a lifetime, and sweep interval. So message cache lifetime that is 240 seconds. Answer message sweep interval is 300. All right. So what that those four lines do is prevent your bot from doing an at everyone. Um, that is up to you personally. I think a starboard bot such as Starboard shouldn't need to at everyone. So yeah, uh, cash max size, lifetime, and interval. Uh, basically, we want to reduce the memory. The less messages are in the cache. Because we'll be taking advantage of the raw event, so you don't need cache messages. So sweep out the memory. It can cause some issues. Um, the last time I tried doing this, uh, there was one or two potential problems, but we'll come to those when we'll, we'll address those when we come to them. Okay, now this is where we get on with the end map stuff. This stars equals new end map. Oh wait, I didn't actually fucking declare in map. I got distracted. Const in equals require in map. I'm literally like trying to steamroll through this because I'm really excited. Okay, and this one stars. Okay, name. Stars. This dot settings equals new nmap, and we'll do name settings save and space. Get rid of that fucking pop up. 
this dot commands equals new collection. Okay, so we have stats. Fucking idiot, York. Idiot. Stars. Uh, we've got the Nmap database installed because it's easy to use and relatively you can potentially translate it to anything you want. Um, but I will be, as I said, I will be doing a video on how to migrate from Nmap to another provider if you want to upgrade your bot or if you want it sharding ready from the get-go. Uh, but what is going to be saved into the stars is a message ID and who starred it and the amount of stars. And it's going to be a there's going to be a quote as well, where you can like pull the stars. Okay, and then the next one's settings, which is obvious. Uh, and the collections, so we can store like command names, etc., etc., uh, somewhere where the help command can get them later. So that's what that's for. So we're going to use. I'm going to do the events ready error debug warn disconnect and reconnecting. So let's just do this. So uh, this dot on. Ready. I did it again. Okay. Console. Console dot log. Uh, do 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 do. This dot user dot username is ready for a dance off because it's Star Lord reference mo to the movies uh, this not touch list this dot user dot set activity the stars full stop comma uh, time watching Uh, do, 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 for neat and prosperity. Okay, so that is the ready event. So if you want to test the ready event, node mon. Node mon is fantastic for development, but do not use it in production, please. So, just waiting for node mon to kick up. So, Let's just look at this. Starlord should be coming online. Oh, wait, no, Starlord won't be coming online. Because I forgot something. Uh, I'm going to do this here. Const client equals new. Oh, wait, no, that should be down there. Uh, Starlord uh, client.login. Token. Now the bot will log in. Oh. Am I supposed to install that as well? Probably. npm i better SQLite three. So, right. As you can see, it's finished. So now. Fingers crossed. E, ready for a dance off. <coughs> nice check. Watching the stars. That seems a bit zoomed out. Okay. Watching the stars. So, yeah, we've got the ready event sorted. Pardon me. So, I just close that. You now, you see, it made a data folder. <coughs> so, let's have a look in the data folder. It's created a SQL light file called Nmap. 
and if we browse data we have settings and we have stars so we have two things that we needed sorted but we'll, we'll populate those later so for now we want to focus on the next event which is going to be the error event I'll be covering these a bit more in depth later I just give me a second I'm checking the notification um, uh, but yeah Ugh, words words fail me I'll be going over the events properly one by one after the um, the Cody bit. So like before, this start on error, error, and pointy error. Uh, console dot log. Actually, no, I don't even need to do that. I just realise I'm, I'm a dum dum. Console.log error. And we'll do the same for debug. This dot on. Pardon me. This dot on debug info. Get rid of the fucking annoying pop ups, you motherfucker. Console.log info. Uh, this dot on. Doing the warn event now. Seriously, those pop ups are annoying me. Okay. The next two, they don't really have any additional parameters, so it's just this dot on disconnect, disconnect, fuck off, console.log, um, let's do some fancy. This dot user, dot user name has disconnected this dot on reconnect has it changed Seriously, pop -up. I know it's it's useful Okay, I just want to actually double check the reconnecting part. So, client events ready? No, re reconnecting has been removed. I'm not sure what it is anymore. It's invalidated. Okay, that's something to to look into. All right, that is the first thing that I definitely need to update. Fantastic. All right, so let's get rid of the reconnector. We don't need that. Okay, so that is that aspect done but we want to throw some of this stuff in process.on now this is going to be like proper um quoting because i usually just copy and paste this but 
So let's uncall exception. Error. Does not compute. Danger Will Robinson. Const error. dot stack dot place uh, new don't ask don't ask new and it's comma g for global Then is console dot log and uh, yeah. Uncall exception comma error message save that and then console dot log error. Followed by process dot exit one, and that is the uncall exceptions done. Process dot on unhandled rejection. Unhandled rejection error. My variable names are so interesting. Um, console dot error uh, uncall uh, promise error error and that is it for the code a, a little bit of beautification um we will we'll fire up the, the bot again, but I want you to pay attention to what the console outputs, and this is primarily what we're going to be focusing on in a future episode. As you can see, it is a provider token, connecting to the gateway, spawning shards. It, this is all debug stuff. It's ready, happy acknowledged basically now it's just gonna do a heartbeat unless you do something like this so there uh mid did not mean to do it like that get rid of the peeps do this and let's type hello okay that is new because the debug is supposed to Oh no, it's the raw event. Okay, the debug menu, the deep the the debug thing will just constantly output heartbeat and various stuff. So I'm going to comment out that and add this for demonstration purposes, and this is what we're going to be focusing on in a later episode. It's the raw event. It is not documented. Not really. Console.log data. See, as you can see, there is a lot more data and a lot more information being submitted. Tracing the gateway, username once it's been verified, uh, avatar, session ID, doing a trace for thing, dumps all the guild information, styled is ready for a dance off. So now, if I was to send a message, there we go. It sent off a typing start event. That's because I was typing. 
I sent a message create event and it does this and if we react as you can see from here it does the reaction that's the bit we're going to be focusing on as well as reaction remove these are the two things we are going to be focusing on the most in a future episode because what we need to do in the next episode would be my best guess is the message event so we can actually start creating commands because right now there is literally no commands all this is doing is just using up RAM so I'm going to comment out the raw event and bring in bring back in the debug event because that'll be useful so yeah uh, before we go um, just want to go through the events that were used We've used the ready event, which um, ready, 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 player one. It, the ready event is emitted when the client becomes ready to start working. It's really that simple. Um, the error in debug. Um, let's see, we'll do debug first, alphabetical. It made for general debugging information, such as what we've witnessed here, shards, um, connections, and stuff like that. Uh, then it was do, 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 the error event. Error event, as you can probably guess, it's emitted when the client encounters an error. Um, yeah, it's literally that simple. Um, warn and disconnect warn is probably going to be the same as the error event. Let's just double check. Warn event. Image for general warnings. So I'm thinking whenever like, you do something or the channel can't be viewed or something like that. And the last one is the disconnect. Which does not exist. I did not catch that. Whoopsie doodle. Unless it's shard disconnected. I don't know. I'm going to have to read up on this even more. But yeah. So let's get rid of the disconnect event. We don't need it. So we've got debug, error, raw, and warn. And the ready event. So. Anyway guys. That is all I have time for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button. And if you enjoy Discord, if you enjoy making bots, please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of when I upload. I'm aiming to upload one episode at least a week on Fridays. Uh, so please check in then. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.